Hello and uh, welcome to this latest video. Uh, today I'm going to be walking the Hagen's Wall path and uh, today I'm walking from the village of Walton to Steel Rig uh, Car Park. It's about 16 miles in total. Uh, because I'm doing the Hagen's Wall path in stages, uh, today I've been joined by my son Tomek uh, and Tomek is actually in the car behind me because what we're going to do is we're going to leave one car at the start of the walk and another car at the end of the walk so that when we get to Steel Rig uh, we'll have transport back to Walton because uh, public transport along Hadrian's Wall is not particularly easy especially to these uh, small villages and remote locations so that's the plan uh, as I say, we're on our way there now. Should be uh, at Steel Rig in about half an hour. It's not too far from uh, from where we live. Uh, so yeah, it should be good. It should be interesting. Uh, we'll be uh, seeing what the weather brings today. We do have um, forecast of a storm today, heavy, strong winds. Uh, but I think I think it should be fine. So uh, yeah, enjoy the video and uh, thank you for joining us. Are you driving? So we're starting the walk here in Walton and just popped in to use the facilities here in this tea shop, tea room. Uh, really lovely tea room, very friendly people, good selection of tray bake, so highly recommend that if you're coming through Walton. And uh, this is where I finished my last walk here in Walton, so we're off now to Steel Rig. section of Hadrian's Wall behind me on Hare Hill is three meters tall. It's the highest section of uh, Hadrian's Wall that remains to this day. And it would have been originally 4.5 meters tall with a parapet of 1.5 meters on top of that. So obviously quite a lot higher than it is now. So we just stopped off here at Bird Oswald for some lunch. Uh, we've done 10.6 kilometers and we have 26 kilometers in total to do today. Uh, so just heading off now for the next leg of the journey.
So we're in the village of Gilsland and we're now crossing into Northumberland, England's border county. So leaving Cumbria. I have to say Cumbria's sign leaves a lot to be desired. Come on Cumbria, you can do a lot better than that. So we made it back to Steel Rig. Uh, Tomic's got some uh, a phone that records how far we've been. So what, what's what are the stats? No, no, it's frozen. <laughs> it's frozen. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll wait for it to unfreeze and then let you know. So we do have some stats. Uh, in terms of ascent, we climbed 1,295 meters. Uh, so that's uh, higher than Scorfell Pike, uh, so a, a good ascent. And in terms of distance, we walked 27.13 kilometers. Uh, we were actually out for over seven hours, but in terms of uh, walking time, 
moving time, we did it in five hours and uh, 44 minutes. So five hours, 44 minutes to do 27 kilometers, which I think is pretty good going. Um, anyway, time to head home.